All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Barnes's Garage. Uh, as you can see in the title, I purchased myself a JDM, I wouldn't say classic. Um, it's got some classic features of a JDM car though. Uh, we'll have a look at those in a second. Just a uh, quick reminder, I hope you've subscribed uh, to my channel. I have quite a few of these videos now on uh, <coughs> cars that I've purchased to uh, either flip or keep for myself. There's um, Rovers, Mercedes, Nissans, Ladas, no Ladas, the whole production. But anyway, so do subscribe and uh, leave your comment down below. Tell me what you think of the uh, Toyota Harrier. So anyway, straight into it. Here it is. You've probably seen from the thumbnail. So this is a 1998 Toyota Harrier. I think these were sold in the US and other countries as the Lexus RX 300, I think. Uh, but they weren't sold here in Australia where I am. This one has um, been sportified a little with the uh, <coughs> aluminium Bentley style grill. It's not really my favourite, but that's okay. But it does look mean. The paint's good on it. It's got the uh, it's got a spoiler kit on the front. Some big wheels, <coughs> side skirts with. TRD written on them. I'm sure this isn't or isn't a TRD, I'm not sure. So, uh, I mean, JDM for sure, with the little wind deflectors, also with the um, mirror tint, which is actually illegal here in where I live in Queensland, in Australia. It's also got a, a rather large rear spoiler. That is massive, so maybe it is a sports one. That's a real big spoiler. Got the tow bar, the paint's pretty good all over. A couple of minor dints and scratches. All over here, it's starting to fail, but overall it's pretty good, the paint on this, to be honest. I'll take you out of it. So, yeah, she's not too bad. The paint-wise, polish those headlights up. Now, the tyres are very big. They are 225, 55 17s but they are feathered and just about illegal I'd say is there a date coat oh and they're cracked as well <coughs> made in Japan these tires date code is I don't know if you can see that but that's 2008 <laughs> Wow okay so tires on this car are what are we 2022 Anyhow, 14 years. What about this one? Um, this one I can't find the date code. No? Anyway, they are all the same Bridgestone tyres. But some have got the date code. Maybe they're older. I don't know. See that one? Oh, spin you around here. See my lovely feet? I believe that's 2008. That's quite old. But anyway, that's all right. They're done anyway. So I'll have a quick look at the engine. All right, uh, I was planning to, uh, I picked this up from the auction and I was planning to video it like I normally do. However, I forgot to take my SD card. So I made it home uh, without taking you along. But I haven't actually looked underneath the engine yet. There it is. Sits low down in there. So this car was imported into Australia as a second-hand vehicle uh, in 2000. Okay, that's a long time ago. So I guess it was only two years I want to came here. Okay, that's a bit unusual for us anyway. Usually a few more years old than that. But let's have a look at the oil. Golden. So that's, the belts look okay. It's pretty clean under here, to be honest. That engine mount looks okay. That's not really doing anything. Uh, 
Now, on the drive home, I noticed it wouldn't take itself out of third gear, which is concerning. I can't find, anyway, I'll do that later. Can't find the, what am I talking about? <laughs> right down below, what am I talking about? No, the automatic trans dipstick is what I'm talking about. So there's some information, I guess, on the car. It's a three litre, obviously it says so on the tin. If we have a quick look at the interior. Uh, beautiful cloth, nice check cloth trim, it's actually in quite good condition. I'll take that out so it doesn't keep beeping. Uh, Japanese don't like leather trim, well they didn't back then. So we've got some floor mats. I do love how the Japanese do their floor mats, like that, different colours and stuff, not just all grey. Have a look in the back, it's locked. Have a look in the back. I see even got one for the back. Lovely. Uh, it's actually quite a nice place to be in here, to be honest with you. I do like cloth trim. Especially when it's two-tone and checkers and all that sort of good stuff. What's in the boot? Oh dear. It's quite a large car. They're not going to stay. No. So I'll hold it with my head. I also notice it's missing a couple of headrests from the rear. It's got a little something. Some bags for you. Thank you very much. Is there a tire meant to be there? Maybe it's under here. Perhaps. Well, there we go. Ugh. It's a Toyo. It's got good trend. Maybe it's the original spare. Can't see a date code on that. What does it look like? Ugh. No, it is brand new. Look at that. And it is that. Looks like an old Rav4 tire. What size is it? Anyway, uh, a little bit of rust, bubbling, not too bad I suppose. There we go, 225-7016. The bitch trying to kill me, that's why I'm not speaking. Ah, uh, it's got a vault. Oh, there we go. You can get the Harrier. Sorry, it's so so I can you can see Harrier four. Some other bits of trim. Someone didn't want the Harrier badges, obviously. What's in here? I'm just guessing it's the wiper, washer. No, it's just a little cubby hole to put your stuff Ugh. tried to kill me I tell you let's have a look inside sorry I was just sitting on the key let's start her up was Optitron, I think they used to call them. Starts right up. Now I said to you, now, one of the problems is this, this is it all in uh, Japanese. It also seems to have like it's got, and it's like it's got some sort of wrap on it that's crinkled in the sun or something. The problem is that's in between the screen. <laughs> so I can't do anything about it, plus it's in Japanese. Um, well, that's got all the buttons, so you can TV. It's got TV, channel six. Ten, okay, I don't know if that's digital TV or not. Uh, all the other sort of features, mostly in English, some in Japanese. You've got a little tape deck. As I said to you before, the air conditioning doesn't work. But if I turn 
on the fan. I can hear it click on. Oop. We just don't get any cold air out of it. Uh, it's got a nice leather steering wheel. Notice it's not a Toyota badge, it's, I mean, not a chrome one. Windows, they all work. All lovely. Thing was got a little bit damaged, not too bad. It's obviously got some tweeters up there. The radio does work. I had it on before. Uh, the speakers are quite good. So I think community. There we go. I don't know if you heard that. Oh. There we go. David Gridley with Anna Shimmy. There you go. Some chat for you. Uh, the gearbox. Or well, the gear knobs up here. Now the thing I did notice when I drive it home, I don't know if you can see that or not, it wouldn't go past third gear. But it's got up down on the on the back of the wheel, which you can't see it's I guess it's up and here it's got down. No other controls, it's up, down, up, down to change the gearbox, but it won't well you can see it's changing. Up, down, up, down. But it won't change out of third gear, so that could be ominous. Is it? We're actually getting cool? Maybe not. Uh, and then it's got these lovely, you do see quite high up here, those lovely armrests and these big lounge chairs. What's in the glove box? Uh, some receipts, a registration document. I'll have a quick look at that. From 2014, a Repco service bag and lots of receipts. I'm not sure what for. And I guess it's got a CD stacker here. There we go. What do we got? Nothing. Fair enough. Or Toyota. Let's leave that there for now. I don't think I'll be requiring it. <coughs> it's also had some service done on it before. I don't know if it makes it easy to see. That one's totally gone on your left. Mr. Spanner, can't tell. It's so old, it's faded. Anyway, back to the center console. So this, I've worked out. I guess that's an ashtray with no lighter. So I'm not sure how that'll work. Push this thing in, the whole thing moves forward. So a little drinks tray with it make a drink bigger and smaller it's a bit icky and then you got the bigger tray here which is broken is that it I guess that's not very deep at all I think the air conditioner is getting cold maybe it's just cold outside is that it can we go further in there? No. No. What else would be in here? And down here. Oh, look, we've got another big tray with uh, a pencil. A pen. But it does go in the gear fine. I'll, I think I showed you some of these. Yeah, automatic. Everything seems to work, apart from the air conditioning. The screen's a bit funky. These are a bit broken. The air conditioning, uh, maybe they're not. Maybe they're not broken. Okay, they seem okay. I thought that was this one broken over here. The inside bits. And the mirrors don't work. Could be a fuse. Might not be. I'm sure that air conditioning's working now. Am I tripping? I drove home and it didn't work. Maybe I don't give it enough of a chance. It's missing a knob there too. Um, so all in all, well the air conditioning doesn't work, but it probably does. The screen, I mean it works okay. It's going to be able to read Japanese. Ah, oh, you can get around it, but it's a bit, how's your father? Needs new tyres. I need to take that 
uh, god awful tint off. Uh, that's about it, really. It, it's, I mean, it's definitely desirable to someone. It drives smooth. Oh, the gearbox, that's right, I won't change out of third gear. Oh, nothing major, I forgot about that. Uh, I might just need some new fluid, <laughs> maybe. Uh, maybe. Maybe that's something I can look up. So, just to repeat myself, gearbox, I need fixing for roadworthy here, because when you sell it, I can sell a car as is, but in where I live in Queensland, but if you want to sell it uh, for more money and someone wants to re-register in their name, you have to get what's called a roadworthy or a safety certificate, and that means someone has to inspect the car to make sure it meets certain criteria. So, for that to happen, I'd need new tyres, I'd need the gearbox to be working properly, and that's it, doesn't matter if the air conditioning works or not. Although it seems to be that it is. Um, so that's about it. I've got a little, I've only got one key as well. Oh, I've got to fix the mirrors up too. Just keeps adding up, doesn't it? Yes, that's tint. Uh, but you run smooth, look. There's that dipstick for the trans. What colour? I know you don't check it like that. What colour is it? Well, it looks sort of brown. I'm not sure that's the colour it's meant to be. So maybe it just needs a fluid change. Something to look into, maybe. So, so that's it. So it must be sports model of some kind, because it's got all the spoilers and stuff on it. Maybe it was a TRD version. Did Toyota do TRD versions of reasonably mundane cars? Maybe. This doesn't work either, look at that. Yeah, I'll give you one more quick good look around the back. Uh, I paid $15.50 for this car. I don't think I've mentioned that. Gosh, I need to be more professional. I paid $15.50 for this car, which is not too bad, I don't think. Uh, I guess that's the aerial for the TV. Uh, $15.50 for this car. Not a bad price. I reckon I'd be able to sell it for that. At least, as is, to get my money back. I think it'd be quite a popular car with, I don't know, somebody who likes JDM cars or someone who just wants a wagon. Um, it's got all the power stuff, so we'll see. So that uh, <coughs> that wraps it up on the Toyota Harrier. Uh, let me know down below what you think of my JDM Market Harrier that came to Australia when it was two years old. Um, also subscribe to the channel, that always helps me as well. Um, and if I do some more work on it, I'll let you know. I might make another video of it. Um, we'll see how we go. And uh, I guess I'll catch you all next. I'll catch you all next. No, I <laughs> let's do that again. Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> uh, thanks for pa uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.